ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमार फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे इन दिस सिमुलेशन वी विल इंप्लीमेंट ए सिंपल सर्किट फॉर द इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ केसीएल रूल और सिंपली यू कैन से दैट किरचिप्स करेंट लॉ एंड व्हाट अबाउट किरचिप्स करेंट लॉ इट सेज दैट ऑल द करेंट्स that entering a node is always equals to the sum of currents that are leaving the node means that when you are going to sum the input current into the node then they must be equal to that of the sum of the currents that are going away from the node and what a node is it is a common junction point where like three or more wires used to uh, be connected with each other so uh, i think that we have to perform for better understanding so first we will take our power supply and here we will use our battery now this is our battery means the current source or power source then we will take the resistances sorry so we we have taken one resistance which is a 1 kilo ohm okay then we will take another resistance that is that is like uh, 100 ohms and then there must be a third resistance which must be of 470 ohms so these are the three resistances so first we will connect all these resistances on a common point okay Okay, now we can delete this one. Okay, now they are connected with each other. So these are the resistances that acts as a load. Now, now we will do one thing, and that is right. Okay, now we will place three meters, like three uh, ampere meters. First one, the second one and the third one okay now this is Okay, now we have connected one sides. Now we will connect it the other sides. Okay, now these are connected with each other. Okay, now, now we will do one thing. That we will okay now we will connect it with the power okay now now you can see that there are three path three paths for the current flowing like uh, like one 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 path is that like uh, from from via this resistor and via this meter then the other path is via 
this resistor and this meter and the third one is that one okay now we will take and after after the uh, after the individual currents they all will combine it the common point and and this is our node okay so like this this is our node so we will place our one meter here and we will connect the negative terminal with the okay now okay now we will see that now what will what will be the main co and core objective that that the individual currents that are going to enter into the uh, node must be equal to the leaving current like uh, the first in the first three meters we must have to add the add the currents because they are the entering currents and what about this fourth meter because it is it is combinedly mirroring the leaving current so the sum of all the currents of first three meters must be equal to the third one so so we we have to convert it into the amperage 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 and this is amperage okay now we will start our simulation okay now we will see that either they are equal or not so uh, it's 18.8 uh, and it is 88 okay so we will add around we can say that when we add 88 and 8 it is like a 94 and 83 it is it is almost 95 so when when we will add uh, 95 with uh, sorry it is it is uh wait again again we will check 88 plus 8 must be 96 okay and 0.83 and 0.3 are like um, one so uh, we can say 97 then 97 plus 18 so it is around 115 point something so so it is equal to 116 milliampere so here we can say that our logic is verified and now this is the most simple demonstration of the KCL or Kirchhoff's current law within the Tinkercad. So now you can apply it in your Tinkercad. So thanks for watching.